Yeah, you know, I got a battle plate over here. Oh, oh. Yeah, I would assume it's 80 and they were more popular than the 9 in. Hey, there's a. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Have at you. I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm, where I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to film it anyway. <laughs> I got Sonny with me today. We're actually going to load up some fuel cans and some batteries, and we're going to head up. We're going to meet Wiley. Uh, he's got some old, old. Uh, I think there's a Mac semi sitting out there. We're going to actually do a tour of like this junkyard, this honey hole that Wiley's found. So we're going to go do that, check it out, see what all is out there. And I think after we do the tour, we're going to start up this old Mac. Uh, I don't know if it's a super liner. I don't know if it's a cab over. He just said there was an old Mac semi out there that he saw. And so let's go take a tour of the place. And then once we take a tour of the place, then another video we'll start. Uh, I think there's probably six or eight pieces there that we can try to crank up or at least go over and see what we can do. Because the gentleman that owns the junkyard is wanting to get rid of all the stuff. So we're going to go check it out and see what we can get our hands into. Let's get this gas cans, fuel cans, uh, loaded up and the batteries loaded up. Old Black Betty is my 95 F350 7.3 liter power stroke. Uh, motor and trans is good. It's got all kinds of electrical problems. Uh, if you haven't seen that playlist of the old, when I bring old Black Betty home from uh, Alabama, North Alabama, I drove it 300 miles. It's a good running truck, but there's a, it's got a lot of issues. But we're working on it step by step. Dial um, drive batteries. Okay. Wait, good. I've got two jump boxes, but they're in my white truck. I may or may not throw those on there. Um, it's long enough. Should be. Should be running through those handles. cheap rule king ratchet straps I want trust a I trust huh I ain't hard to get up now I'm just here to find broke alright well we got wrap it out of that box I was just talking about how cheap cheap they were I mean I think I don't remember how much I paid for them but they're yeah look at that bad broke I don't think these things will fall off, but just in case. Let's chuck that one off yeah. to it. Uh, play it in, because you can use that one over, over the scrap. I'll tell you this, I, uh, we've been using this We've been using this truck for as a service truck, and I debated back. I debated if we were going to get the flatbed service truck or um, a, a service body truck, and I went with the flatbed because I might pull a gooseneck with it. And I know they make some service bodies that you can pull goosenecks with, but uh, I kind of like the look of this Western hauler. I like the toolboxes in the side, uh, underneath the flatbed. But I'm telling you what, it is so much easier to step in here and getting into the bed of the truck. It's been it's been a, a, a good truck. I like the bed. I don't know if the video is out yet of us arranging our toolboxes and stuff. So I don't haven't read your comments yet about organization of that kind of stuff. Because I in that video I ask, I'm like, okay, how would you turn your how would you put your air compressor? How would you put your toolbox? stuff like that so I'm interested I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see your anxious is not the right word but I'm ready to see your comments on how you would have set your service bed up anyway all right let's go let's go meet Wiley you 
the chrome wheels dirty. I don't know what. So I caught up with Wiley. Uh, we did eat lunch before we came out here, so yeah, it was of course. Only, so if I take a nap while we're walking around, the uh, the place that we're at, the all the stuff you're going to see in this video is for sale. So you can send me an email, Hank at HamiltonVilleFarm.com, or you can send Wiley an email, Wiley.dec at gmail.com. We'll put them across the screen here, um, and then if you're interested in all of it or any of it. It's all for sale. I don't know any of the prices. Uh, I don't know if anything works or whatever, but if you're interested in any of this stuff, I'll get you the number of the owner and you can work it out with him. We're gonna start off with a Ford F750 that is just absolutely gorgeous. It is. That's a, I mean, it's a beautiful truck. I've never seen one. Yeah. So how, what, uh, late 60s maybe, early 70s? Yeah. Something like that. So we'll uh, let's let's big job. Big job. What exactly is a big job? You guys. I don't know, know, but let me leave a comment below if you know what a big job is. Probably uh, some type of uh, what's a what's a big V8 for the Fords? Uh, 454 is a Chevy. So 427 is that a Ford? Motor? Chevy 427. Yeah, I don't know. My, I don't 460, know. isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure. And a sure. Ford. Yeah. Let's see what the. Oh, it's got an air horn. Oh, well, you know it's going to... That might be a diesel. <laughs> it might be, might it? So, uh, it very well could be. You going to try to figure out how to open it up? When's the last time? Let's do it. All right, ready? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, I have to pray. we'll have to spray some liquid wrench on it. It's, un it's unlatched. I have to spray some liquid wrench on it or something. It's, those those uh, springs are frozen. Yeah. Let's take a look at the cab, inside the cab. Record service. To, it's good on the other side. Uh, oh, man, all kind of owner manuals in there. A uh, 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 triple nickel backhoe owner's manual. Look at that. That's so cool. I just love the I love the body lines in it. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I just love the lines of the. I cab. have people tell me that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you tell if it? That's got a, a power divider on it there. Splitter. Yeah. The. Uh, let's see if it. Let's open up the other side and see if we can tell if it's a diesel or not. I wonder if I can tell us how many viewers know what that rack is. You know, it's funny you should say, I mean, all serious, I was looking at it. Because usually, like, the logging trucks and stuff have the bolsters on the, yeah. you know, outside. Yeah. I don't know what it would be. A very specific purpose for something. Right. So if you know what it is, let us know in the comments. Let's look on the other side. Let's look at, a, at the cab on the other side and see if we can see a, a data plate for uh, what year it is and any more information. Yeah, I got a data plate over here. Twenty-two thousand pounds. As a VIN number. I don't think it's date right here. Let me let me cheat a little. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, I don't know. It says date 23D. What's 23D mean in dates? Uh, I don't know. Me neither. But I bet you somebody can look at the body style and they'll... Yeah, my assumption is late 60s, early 70s. Late 50s, early 70s? No, late 60s. Did I say oh, 50s? I meant no. 60s. I can't hear. Yeah. I got selective hearing. Look at the... Check out the gauges and stuff. Yeah, the stuff. dash is cool, isn't it? That is cool, man. That's awesome. I love this stuff. You see inside of it, honey? 
It's got some type of winch apparatus here. Look at that braking system on that thing. It's a chain on that thing with the slot and the holes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what else he's got on the property. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this one over here, Hank. This is a putwood rack. Short wood, putwood. Uh. Back before fella bunchers. They cut the tree down, cut it five, three usually. Yeah. And they throw it as high as they could get it. Then they take the center post, wrap a cable around it, and pull bundles at the time. That what you're talking about winch is yes. what driv what drove that it drives that. Driv drove. Driv drove. drove. You know I can't. I've got mesh getting <laughs> stuck in my craw. I can't speak. Yeah. And then you'd sit back here, and one was break oh. and one was the. Yeah. Okay. Throttle. Yeah. There you go. That makes sense. I've put a lot of it, and I'm not like some folks was most of those are dead <laughs> but well i mean you, you're doing pretty good to be 80. is this a safe what is it looks like a safe don't it yeah <laughs> <laughs> look at this old xlp lariat i wonder if it's got a power, power it would yeah. uh, okay yeah I say that. Ow. Oh, EFI. This is another big engine. Let's Electronic see. fuel ignition. Forward. Ignition or injection? Injection. Yeah. I can't see either. I'm, can't blind. I'm blind. Help well, me. Well, I didn't know about what it had on it. But well, uh, yeah. What year is this? I don't know. I would say an 88. Okay. Yeah, let me see if I can see the door. This would be my guess, 88. He was working on it. You see all the sockets in there? <laughs> guess what year it is? 88. 88. The square headlights gives it How about you, driver? How about you, driver? Got your Cobra? How about you meet me on 16? We'll go to the basement and talk on that. <laughs> It's got dual fuel tank, automatic, air, got the old crap handle here, power windows, power lock, couple of Cobras, my truck, chicken light. All right, let's see what else they got here. This is so much fun, man. I'm having a blast. And Sonny, so if you don't know who Sonny is, Sonny's my stepdad. He's been in a couple videos with us already, already but... We have to really, he sees he's got a walking stick. Well, he's like 112, so we, uh, <laughs> so we have to watch out for, we have to watch out for Sonny. No sudden movement for the old man. Can you tell us what yeah. this is, Hank? Oh, look at that. Propane driven. Uh, I can't make out the name on the side. Cos. I don't know. Let's see if we can look at some old... It's got a key in it, Wally. Well, it should start. I wonder what our success rate is for when they have a key in them. Yeah. Like 93.7? I would say that, yeah. I might be the radio station I like listening yeah. to. <laughs> this old gas engine wants to get the propane into it. I mean, it's internal combustion like that with the... Because uh, uh, of the spark... I bet those spark plugs are clean. Man, I bet they're clean. Yeah, what it C O S? Let me see. Let, let me look at a. Let me Google it. Oh, I don't have any signal. Hey, that's another thing I want to say. You know, a lot of people be like, "Oh, Google's your friend." Well, yeah. If you ain't <laughs> if you ain't out yeah. in the middle of a big big spot where there ain't no uh, signal, that'd be a great idea. Did I look at that. Was it can you tell on the sign? Have you noticed something? What's that? About several of this equipment, the stack, oh, always covered. Oh, yeah, nice. If you know what we're going to do at the house, what not covered. That's it. right. Yep. Heads all froze up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can you see that? What that says right there? C-O-S-E. I don't know. I can't make it up. Thank you. Have you ever wondered why? This was the first design on the wheel. Why they thought that was better well, than to come out here? Yeah. Well, the road cro it's for row crop stuff, right? In between the rows? 
I'm pretty sure that's the why they. Is did. that the reason why? I think so. Yeah. I, I I think so. I'm not an ag guy. I'm a flower farmer. I'm not either. I'm, <laughs> you know? right. But I think that's the reason it goes in between the rows. Uh, when do you always fall back on flower farming? Listen, because I'm not a mechanic. I'm a flower farmer. Because that pays. The Has pay. anybody seen your flowers? <laughs> that's what pays the bills. Can you show us a flower that you actually check out? Black barn blossoms. That's our <laughs> other channel. For reals. Uh, oh, it's a case. Does that say Case International, maybe? No, so it's a Case tractor, unless... It might be a Case in another name when they was with. Unless they change this gauge out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I doubt they have. That's a good eye. Yeah. Uh, case has been in business a long time, hasn't it? A little it? bit. Let's see what else they got on this place. Man, I see another... Mm. Square body Chevy, another Ford. Flat bed. <laughs> Look at that. That was the same. Check that out in the back. That one's been there a minute, hasn't it? Golly. So I watch a I watch a couple channels called uh, one is called Sleeper Dude and one is called uh, uh, Restored. These guys cut trees out like that. Look at that. <laughs> that is just that's insane yep. yeah you think that old 12 volt D-Walt will get through that LeBlanc and Theriot Equipment Company Sanford and Son out of Mail Tree, Louisiana Looks like it, I bet you somebody knows, remembers that place in Louisiana. Any viewers in Louisiana watch the channel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She said it, dude. Oh, here's a backhoe. I wonder if that's that Ford. I wonder if that's that Ford that had the owner's manuals in it. Once we get on this side, we'll jump over to the other side. I literally, I could walk around this place all day. Man, can you imagine the stories that this, these things could tell? That big old hook. Yeah, I mean, that's just nuts. I'm guessing case. Another case? Yeah. The yet because of the yellow? Uh, old case. Look uh, at old. the arms. Look at the design of the arms. Old, old, old. That is cool. He's got the four levers in the back. Uh-oh, I see an ID plate. Uh-oh. If you can read it. Model 34. Model? Case, case company. Yep. There you go. Comes with some JB Wells. Oh, it had an ex. It's a good day for this. There's no snakes out. It had an ex. It had a manual <laughs> extended boom. Oh, it sure does, don't it? Manual. Yeah. Take the plugs out and move it down. Like sliding tandems on the trailer. You know what I'm talking about? I've never seen that. I've never seen it neither. They've come a long way since so, then. So they? we're gonna we're gonna title this video the most rare backhoe on on the planet. <laughs> it probably is. It's very rare. It's very rare. Wow, that is crazy. Check out this old Ford over here. Yeah. We should probably this thing right here looked like it pulled some pulled some stuff back in the day. Old farm truck, huh? I ain't sticking my hand in there. Keys in it. Wow. And the axle. But is it is it a live axle or a dead axle on the back? Um, uh, I don't know. You have to look and see. I'm gonna say dead because because of the year, huh? Because of the year. No, because 
See, it don't have the row of bolts around it, you know, holding the cap like it would be. Woo, them quail scared me. Pull! <laughs> oh. Hank, this has still got the batter hooked up in it. Well, that's part then. I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh-oh, 1997 tag in it. Wow. Sure looks old to be a 97. Flash run. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I won't work with me. Now, I that's a cool trailer. Let's see if you put insurance paper in a glove box. No, I think that's where the rats live. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool trailer, dude. Yeah. I like that. All right. Look at, look at Sonny. Look at Sonny over there. Going back to, going back to his, his route. I remember as a boy. I remember when. I remember when. Huh? You want to just work on over that way? Yeah, this way. Okay, yeah. Where's that Mac at? Liquid nitrogen. Is, is that what? Is that what you put in the balloons and you put it in your mouth? Oh, that's helium. That's helium. <laughs> Holy that little tractor! You didn't miss it, Hank. What kind is it before you get there? Uh, Alex, Alex Chalmers. Alice Thomas. Matthew Ferguson. Oh, that's a good guess, too. Ford. Look at both Oh, of my goodness. Okay, there's a... It's oh, a, yeah. It's an 8-in or a 9-in? That's an 8-in. Oh, because of these? I don't know. Because of... I just had to go opposite of you, and yeah. I knew I'd win. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, the difference between an 8-in and a 9-in, it's got something to do with the pedals. Look at that. Yeah. That sediment bowl there. That is nuts. Wow. Y'all let me know in the, I know there's going to be a lot of comments in this video, but let me know in the comments about the, oh, oh sorry, I like about it. the pedals, about the pedals, between the difference between 8 in and a 9 in. It's got something to do with the pedals. Woo! We'll come back this place. We're going to need some liquid wrench. Now look, he didn't know if he wanted a boat or a trailer. <laughs> Your motorcycle haul. There's somebody. Oh, look. Got the uh, Space Balls RV over there. Ludicrous speed. Trespassing. Oh, there's another one, Hank. Yep. I don't believe we're going to crank that one. That's netting. That's netting to go over cargo with. You see that in a lot of like C-130s and all that. This is an 8 in as well. See the pedal? 8 in or 9 in, one of the two. I would assume it's the 8 in. They were more popular than the 9 in. Hey, there's a... Ho, 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 ho! Woo-wee! Unreal. Uh, didn't I not just say that we there was no snakes out here? I'm talking about I was all over that sucker. There's my cameraman. Get in there, cameraman. You got zoom <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. All right, we're gonna leave you alone, buddy. He's not. He's not rattling. Whew. Ain't that something? Had it. <laughs> wow. I would have got him. Are you saying I saved your life, Wiley? Is that what you're saying? You can you can go ahead and say it. Thanks, Hank. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's not a little one either. Ah, I'll leave him be. Look at the sprayer. Look at the front end of this thing. It looks like. 
literally it's something that something that come out of a 70s space movie. You know? I was just right here and here. We're, listen, I'm over here trying to talk and over here. Is he on a different channel? I can still hear that thing rattling. Yeah. Uh, this is just a, this is awesome. So we can find another one. Hank, I believe that's got a Volkswagen engine in it, don't I? Oh yeah, it look, I mean it looks like it. Didn't some of these come out with Volkswagens? Yeah, I don't even, I have no idea, but that looks like a little small Volkswagen, you know? No fuel, the fuel lines are jacked up. Alright, a combine here. John Deere 213. I wonder if it's gas or diesel. He drove it right there. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Man, they just make us so much bigger now, don't they? We yeah. right here in these long leaf. We right here in rattlesnake country. Yeah, we gotta be careful, obviously. Yeah, right. the old space space balls RV. Ludicrous speed. <gasps> Ludicrous speed. Try to crank that up. Old 450 dozer over here. Long track. Hydraulics. Look at how strong them hydraulics are. You tell me. Tell me that. Yeah. Look at that. 450E. There's a rabbit. Ooh, that's that, what, snake, that snake would have had that rabbit. Yeah. That's what it's hunting. Yeah. Old 450E long track. Let's see if we can see a gear on it. No, just a. Just a um, serial number. Call or dozer is calling. We can we might be able to come back and just look, just like you said earlier. Now look how he kept he even kept the wind from blowing it off by adding that string on that. That's pretty cool. Old swamp buggy over here. I thought you said there was a Mac here. Huh? I thought there was a Mack semi here. Well, you just got to keep looking, Hank. Oh, okay. Oh, I uh, see it. Is it. Is it a dump truck? Yeah. All right, we're going to walk over here and tip me. John Deere got two spools in the back. 4030. All right. Might be able to try to crank this one up. That'd be pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, massive. That's a pretty cool tractor right here. Yeah. This will crank easy. You know, man, what at what year? What year did they come up with better seats? Because these old farmers had these better <laughs> seats, man. They had to be miserable. Oh, look at that! Another blue hood for here. two thousand. Do what? A hood for four two thousand. Oh yeah, that one right there. There it is. Yep. That big old rear end on that thing. Well, it ain't that big, Hank. Please, quit looking. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is that right there? You flip it over and it turns. What is that, you reckon? It's but, probably cover for another rattlesnake. But, <laughs> Hank, these right here are the same size as skitter tires. 23-1, 26s. Yep. Crazy. There you go. You got one of them. No international, Rhett Butler. Now that's from Andalusia. Rhett Butler trucking. Franklin, and my darling. And DTL, he had a he had a nice van just like that. What is uh, who was uh, Scarlett O'Hare? Wasn't that Rhett Butler? Yeah, his name was Rhett Butler. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. And he put it. He had a nice rig with Gone with the Wind on oh, his trailer. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. He's still he he's night. still with us. Yeah. Hey what? man, did you know International put these out? <laughs> Come standard with theirs. Oh. Yeah, we might be able to crank. This one looked like it'd crank up pretty easy too. Well, Hank, there's a you know we could go green. We could go green. You know, I get a lot of comments about or I, I comments. I get a lot of emails about companies want me to promote an electric bike. Maybe I'll do that one day. Uh, can you wrap? 
Dang, that tire was, I was going to ride a wheelie for you. Yeah. <laughs> so we got uh, some potentials here. But next time, so let's drive down there in old Chevrolet here. Let's, um, let's try to look at that dump truck, you want to? All right, we'll look, we'll look at this old international day cab and then we'll go check that out. Look at that old wagon wheel, Hank. Yep. There's no telling what goodies is piled in there, is it? There's tons of, uh, there was a military cot up there. That looked like it come off aircraft. There's an old, old uh, spare tire that came off like a, a Willis or something. Man, he's got it, Donnie. He's That's where he stores his jumper cables. <laughs> the jumper cable storage area. The GC, the JCSA. Look at this old thing. Yeah. Oh, this thing right here fire up too. Yeah. Let's take a look at the inside. Right there. Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, where's my, my buddy? My buddy Nooner. Look at that. Jacksonville Jaguars. Shout out to my buddy, my best friend Nooner. So when was that team? They used to want, they came in 95. You know what, I, I was going to say 94. Yeah. Just because you went 95. <laughs> <laughs> Is the other side unlatched? Yeah, but I didn't want to put my hand up in here. I'm not seeing it. Oh. Old Cummings. Okay. It'll let you know what year it is right there. Three hundred. Data manufacturing. I want to say it's a ninety-one. That sound right? Yeah. Got the key. Everything's got keys in it. Everything, all the exhaust are covered. I think we're going to be in good shape. Is this gas or diesel? Diesel. There's a data point. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Which think? You know. Oh, 81. Yeah. yeah 81. You know you. <laughs> My jokes are horrible. You no, never know. no, no. I mean, really. Not you bad. don't know when you're joking or not when you ask questions like that. <laughs> True. 81. 81. What was the top song in 1981? Do you really want to hurt me? You always go to that. I do. That's a, it's you, a quick... you have a crush on board, George? No, I don't. But let's see. 81, 1981. Well, it depends on what genre. Could have been uh, Mississippi Woman, Louisiana Man, we get together. Or it could have been uh, 81. Let's see. Could have been something like by Jefferson... Jefferson, Starship. Jefferson Starship, maybe. Yeah. We built this city on rock and roll. What is odd about this truck when you look? Wedge brakes. Nope. Uh, humpback, rear end. Camelback. I mean, yeah, Camelback. What has Camelback rear end? Max. Big Max. Look Somebody that. cut it in the frame off and welded a Mac rear end under it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, and it don't have wedge brakes on it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, listen. hey, hey, there's another bike, hey. Okay, that's this is the same bike. Now this is what this is some trivia for you. Hey. This is the exact same bike that they used in Wizard of Oz. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. The Wicked Witch of the West yeah. drove off on that, and a tornado got her, yeah. and it come all the way from Kansas to Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the old Wicked Witch of the West. Here's a red seal. You know what that is, Hank? Is that a generator? What does that say up top? C O N. Continental. Continental. That's a Continental engine. Was it a generator? I would say so, yeah. Look at Hey, we can start that without a battery. Yeah, look at that. Okay. 
Let me see on the other side. Hey, you know, you're right here back in proximity of the rattlesnake. You know, I know, or maybe it's an air compressor. I can't tell by the... Sure, it could be a number of things. Air compressor. Could be a number of things. Could be a hook to a welder. Who knows? Yeah. Look at this thing. Pressure washer. This is a pressure washer. Nah. Look. Grease gun, Hank. Huh? Oh, it's a grease gun. Yeah. 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 Put the grease here. Wow, that's cool, man. It is. That's a grease gun. Look at that old bush hog. Y'all look at that? Mm hmm That's an old one. Cool. Let's go look at that Mack dump truck. Hey, we missed the, the ski do. The ski do. The ski don't. You remember that back when they come out in the late 70s, I guess? You used to have to stand on them like that. Yeah. They've gotten much better over the years. 1993 is tagged. My buddy, uh, no nonsense, no how. He uh, he probably could use that and rebuild it and all that stuff. He's a real mechanic. Grill for an old tractor of some sort. Two bottom plow. Hydraulic jack. Wow. See that turn. That's crank jack, yeah. Do you need to turn, do you need to adjust it? You know, turn something to turn something? You know what I'm trying to say? I know what you're trying to say. You I turn it, you turn it. Uh, there it goes. The worst one works. Wow. That's crazy. That's awesome. Is that, is that a set of Covington planters? Box blade. Slow mower. Fuel tank. Do you guys do you guys have stuff like this where you're from? This is awesome. Another big road, uh, hose reel. What was up front? That Vermeer. A hay belly. A school bus. Yeah, man, we got all kind of cool stuff up here. I bet you there's rattlesnakes around here. Hey, I was helping a fella. That's a greater blade. He clean did. his chicken houses out. Yeah. And I asked him. He was he was trying to get right there close to the edge. Yeah. I said, why can't you get a a, a greater? And that right there would work just fine. Yeah. And turned it yeah. and come right to the side of that. Yeah. One thing that ain't going to happen in this video is I'm not going to trip over nothing. Well, my eyes have been peeled to the ground ever since we saw that yeah. snake. <laughs> I've been looking. I seen that and thought it was a snake skin. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, that's a bark to a tree. Ain't that funny? Oh, no, it's a carpet. Yeah. Where that's nice. That's a nice rig there. This? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's heavy duty, ain't it? And you can offset the, this yeah. is a nice feature right here too. Yeah, it's old now, they probably got it hydraulic. Yeah. Hey, there's a boat. We boat can take at? company trips to the lake. The Hamiltonville Farm summer picnic will be in that boat right there. Yeah. Big box truck. Another. Hey, there's your nice. This one's probably an Alice. Or, uh, Farm all maybe. Yeah. What is this one? I bet it's a farm all. There's offset that offset steering wheel yeah. stuff. Yeah, you can make that out just a little bit. Uh, M A L L. Used to crank them right here. My granddad had one. Yeah, you put the put the lever in here. You put the right foot in and take your right foot out. Crank that sucker. That's pretty cool. That's a nice trailer. Yeah. Got a 4400 combine down there. Big box truck and then a... I think he said that's the only thing that's not his. Oh, really? Now, what is this? Side boom for... Uh, oh, like ditch mowing? Yeah. 
It is, indeed. So look at the high, this is where it articulates. The mower head is here. Then all these are uh, counterweights here. Yeah. Triaxle trailer, too. Have you seen many of those? Mm-hmm. That's a bumper pool. Yep. Big box truck. Yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna tell a joke, but I'm not going to. Good. Look at the tires on this thing. He's probably getting another hundred miles out there. Yeah. This is this is the kind of tires you had on that uh, <laughs> at Paystar down there in the, on the river. Yeah. <laughs> probably gasser. Let me see what let me see what year this is. I thought this was a Ford, but it says GM on there. Yeah. It's a GMC. Oh, it's got a cassette. Is that a cassette deck? No. It's an F and AM. I thought it might have been a cassette deck. Got a key in it. I guess this is what's left of a square baler, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Another some type of what in the world? I'm just gonna guess you back back up to a fire and you fan the flames. Maybe. It very well may be. It's a submarine. More military equipment. I mean, look at these trees. That look at the trees. No, no, yeah. Going through that trailer. What's these spray nozzles for? That's not what this is. Where's the nozzles? Right here. And it's done with a power takeoff on a tractor. Yeah, that's crazy. And hey, look at all the belts on this thing. Do you think this is an old spray rig? Might be. Three, four, six, that's back when they was, what was that, that DDT they were spraying yeah. years ago? 11, 13, 14, 15, 16 belts on this thing. Golly. I wonder if Jim at Field Roads knows what this is. I bet he does. His dad probably does. Yeah, for sure, Mr. Whether he does or not. Randy might know. Let's look at the school bus. Now, this is something that I really kind of want to make a, a point to the viewers about. Is back when Wiley was going to school, his his bus was a little shorter than the normal kids. So. Back when I was going to school, Hank had to walk uphill five <laughs> miles. Ways. I like these body lines too. It's a bluebird. I told you, thank you. <laughs> Probably made out of not making Georgia. Where's where's Bluebird at? Thomasville maybe? Well it says right here. It's, it could be possibly made in five different places. I used to drive by the Georgia plant. In Fort Valley? Fort Valley, that's it, yep. Yeah, Fort Valley, Georgia. Uh-oh, we got one more here, Hank, we missed. Look, there's, there's paintings in here. Somebody lived in here. Huh? Flowers for the flower farmer. Y'all, we're going back down memory lane. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's memory lane right there. I bet them lamps are worth something. Look at that lamp right there with the elephant on it. Yep. That green one? Yeah. Wow. It stinks pretty good in here. Self portrait. Let's see if there's any money in the that's catch box. Jet. No, that's bugs. That's bugs. And, and Yosemite. He had good taste. Yeah. Give him that. Break out the, break out the cash box, man. 
<laughs> if there's any in it, we split it. 70-30. <laughs> well, Let's see how much that painting cost. For sale, five dollars. Come on, Hank. You ain't getting in that thing. That's Before the popo -po shows up. Here's another uh, engine with a P it looks like a PTO shaft of some sort, but it's got a motor on it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, our last tractor of the day is going to be an old one. Oh, yeah. The International? Yeah. Yeah. That one, it made them simple again. Got the coffee can on the exhaust stack. Yeah, he's covered all the Torque amplifier. Look how clean that is. Okay, Hank, see they had the wide axles here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody will tell us. Yeah, that's a row crop machine on the other side. Cool. All right, one more dump truck and then we'll wrap this thing up. Oh, that's a, mo a real mower. Oh, like a zero turn. Uh, you sit here face forward. Mo brake. Mo brake. Yeah, that's it. Mo brake. Give me more brake. You can't stop fast enough. You, you hit mo brake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at them little old motors that turn it. It's unbelievable how how technology advances and you start seeing different you yeah. know designs on machines and stuff. Because back in that day, you know, that might have been the bee's knees. You know. It was. Another tape. Look at Oh, I see it going across there. See yep. that? That's not poisonous one. You see it in our snake? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's not poisonous though. That's just a guard, gardener snake. Where they're coming out, Hank? Uh, so, fun fact. Usually with a diamond-shaped head, right? Isn't it a pointed head as a poisonous snake? Not always the case, but... What is this, an aerator? Looks like it. Plugger. Yep. Let's go check that dump truck out, Wiley. Let's do. Sonny, you bad luck. Huh? You bad luck. Why? That's the second rattlesnake I've seen with you. I know it. You told me they ain't in. You said they ain't out now. They ain't out. Oh. You know what that be where you at? They're all around that. <laughs> Close that up, cause cow. All right, Wiley, one more. Old Mac. I love these trees. I do too. I do too. Wait a minute, what span transmission speeds in here? One stick, two stick? Uh, two stick. I bet it's a twin stick. I'm right! <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh, goodness. All right. All right, you want to guess what year it is? 1983. Nope, older. 78? 73. Oh, I lied. 77. See? I can't even tell the truth when I'm lying. What truck number is this? <laughs> 14. 10. Yeah. <laughs> the perfect 10. 26, 1977. It's also the, it, it was almost a centennial, a uh, bicentennial model. All right. I bet the bed's rusted out. You know, Hank, we're trying to uh, keep our carbon footprint down. Yeah. From having to travel back. If it won't do it, we can get it all done now. All right, so the old 77 back here, we're going to try to crank that up, we think. Yeah, I was in, I was in the 12th grade, 1977, yeah. when I come off the showroom floor. When he says 12th grade, y'all don't realize that he graduated when he was 25 years old. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so we're going to end this video now. Make sure you got your notification bell turned on because in an upcoming video, we're going to do a will it start on this Mack truck. Probably do a lot more uh, pieces uh, out here because those things are very interesting. 
So maybe uh, we'll, we'll read your comments, see what you think, and uh, maybe come try to crank some more equipment out here. But we're definitely going to hit this Mac right now. We're going to put that in another video. You guys take care. God bless you guys. watching the video. Links for merch and discount codes are in the description box below.